Hey everybody, it's GT, and welcome to my garage. See? My single bay garage in my duplex. Uh, what I've got here is I've got my 1991 S10. Uh, this truck has faithfully served me for the last uh, 11, 12 years. Uh, I uh, bought this back when we had the big gas crunch uh, after the crash, or yeah, after the market's crash back in 2008. Um, it uh, it served me well um, over the years, including the price of the truck. I've put probably right about five grand in this truck. Uh, it's hard to buy a car in that kind of market and still come out with that kind of uh, cost of ownership. And that doesn't include that you know that doesn't include regular maintenance like uh, oil changes or tire replacements or things like that. Um, because those are all, you know, those are all wear items. Every car is going to have that. Um, but this little jewel has treated me really well. Uh, it, it got, uh, like 30 miles to the gallon in a time where gas was 450 a gallon here in, uh, our area. Uh, I know a lot of places it was a lot higher at that time. Uh, granted now that gas prices are still high but they're not as high as they were but this is the uh basically the death of this truck uh it's just gotten to the point where it's it's unsafe to drive there are holes in the floorboard um as uh i've been basically been telling people if this thing was any holier it could drive on water um because uh it, it's it it's lived a rough life it uh began life uh, worked for a gentleman that ran construction and uh, he lived on about uh, well he's the closest paved road to him was about seven miles if I remember correct when I went to pick this thing up um, and when I got it it is it, just packed with gravel dust uh, I spent two days with a pressure washer trying to clean out as much as I could underneath the truck to try to extend how long the body would last because I knew it wouldn't last long um, Anyway, this is a little different video than I normally post on my channel. I know I usually post a lot of gaming stuff. Uh, I'm bringing you into my garage to kind of let you see what my other interests are. Um, so this one is basically the de deconstruction of this truck and a fond farewell to a, a good friend. So uh, let's get some music rolling and uh, we'll get going. And just so you know, the reason I'm taking this truck apart is because there's parts on this truck I'm salvaging for its replacement, which is happens to be another S10. So things like the uh, suspension components and things like that that I can rebuild, uh, I'm gonna save those so I can fix up my new one.
See, I've had to do a little creative rewiring over the years. By the way, that was my high blower relay. If anybody wants to know. Let's take a look at this. All right, just in case you were wondering why, um, we're looking at rest there, how long the bottom of that course port, so it's trashed, and rest in the inner fenders, and then we've got all that. Can you tell that I live under an oak tree? Big surprise, but then we've got all this over here. Where you know, right there, you can see the floor. Uh, I don't know how well you can see it, but I can see it. But you can see the floor right there. Um, so, he, as you can see, this is uh, probably not the uh, truck you want to try to restore. So, let's try that. Maybe that'll be a little bit better on the voice. But I mean, this has got the 2.5 liter four cylinder in it, which is a good, I mean, it's a good motor. This motor, um, I actually salvaged out of another S10. It was uh, out of an 87 uh, that has been in my family for a long time. Actually, it used to be my dad's shop truck. Uh, we bought this motor, uh, oh geez, it's been over 20 years ago now. Um, and it's probably right at 130,000 miles. But anyway, I'm gonna hang on to that, um, as well as the transmission. And that's why I'm doing all this disassembly. But uh, I don't need fenders, because they're rotten. Uh, I'm gonna save the air box. Um, and some other components, like the steering shaft, no. But uh, the major components, like the engine uh, and drivetrain, I'm gonna save. So I'm gonna put you back on the tripod. So we will get back to your regularly scheduled music. And there you go. Sorry for the walls.
screws me, I want to be able to get it all out.
that is truly amazing. If I can get that lucky on the second one. Number two, amazing. That's gonna be the end of part one. I know I didn't get real far, and this is gonna be like about what well, 10 minutes of video, because uh, I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch through the whole thing at normal speed. Anyway, I'll catch you on the next part where uh, we finish getting the bumper off and probably start tearing into the suspension because I need to get it out of the way so I can get to the actual motor mount bolts that where it mounts to the frame that's where I want to separate it and I want to pull it out all in, all in one chunk uh, but before I can do that I got to get the transmission out get the oil drained out of it uh, both of them get drop drive shaft so I'll be doing a whole bunch of stuff under the truck um, I won't try to film that because I can't get my camera under the truck but when I get back to uh, get ready to pull the motor uh, we'll be here uh, thanks for watching see you next time